Well, I wouldn't get out my tie pat and tap shoes just yet. And celebrating our win over Teresa could be premature. What? Why? I mean, Mother Inferior is already in jail, and little Ethan is just a dotted line away from being adopted. Well, something could still go wrong. What? That is just your hormones talking. Come on. We have our revenge on Teresa for killing little Sarah and for causing you to be as barren as the moon. Mother, now nothing is going to go wrong. We are untouchable. What if Ethan finds out we're responsible for sending the tabloid the information on his true paternity that he's abandoned on a grin? It was years ago. Besides, Ethan blames Teresa for that. Well, what if he finds out that we're responsible? What? How could he? We used Teresa's computer to out him. I'm just so worried that something could happen to mess this all up. Gwen, all you have to worry about is making a little bumper crop of eggs in there. <laughs> what am I, a brood hen? It's just the more eggs you have in your nest, and the more likely it is that Ethan's little swimmers are going to make it to the <laughs> in vitro finish line. <sighs> and I cannot wait to see that child. However, let's get this perfectly straight. The baby can only call me Grand Becca. <laughs> I am so excited that a surrogate is going to have our child. I mean, I'm taking my hormone shots, I'm following my special diet, and I'm sure Ethan is ready to step up to the cup, so to speak. <laughs> oh, Gwen, very soon you are going to have everything you want. And Teresa is going to have nothing. That's right, no more Mother's Day cards for the bitch from the barrio, because we have her son. I always thought that I could count on Ethan, and then for him to betray me like this. First, he, he takes little Ethan away from me by helping Rebecca, and now he's agreed to adopt my child so that he can give him to Gwen to make up for Gwen losing her baby. I mean, little Ethan is his namesake. Ethan is his godfather. He promised to always look out for him to be his champion, not this. Yes, uh, I know. I know, you're upset. You're upset. But you, you, you have to hold it together. Vanessa. You can't give the cranes any more ammo to use against you. Sometimes, Vanessa, you're your own worst enemy. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Whitney says. Really? Yeah. Whitney said that. You, you think he's right. Only now, I guess it's a, it's a moot point. I don't know. After that spectacle you pulled in front of the cameras and Judge Riley, I'm not, I don't know if you'll ever get your boy back. I don't know if you'll get out of jail. I, I don't know any. If it'll get the leaf in back, I might as well be stuck here. Nothing matters to me without my son. Nothing. 